In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the Cisco Nexus 9000V switch. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1 beta 1. If you're using GNS3 version 2.1 under switches, available appliances, the Cisco Nexus 9000V will be available. If you're using GNS3 2.0, Go to gns3.com, go to the marketplace, appliances, and search for the Cisco Nexus 9000V. And then click the template to download the template to your local computer. In my example, I'm using GNS3 version 2.1, so I can simply drag the appliance to the workspace. In GNS3 version 2.0, you need to go to File, Import Appliance, and browse to your Downloads directory, and select the GNS3 appliance, and click Open. An overview of the appliance is displayed. It's a Nexus 9000V. It requires KVM, which means that you must be using the GNS3 VM, and you must be using a VMware product. VirtualBox does not support nested virtualization, so you can't use a VirtualBox with this appliance. You need to use a VMware Fusion on a Mac, or VMware Workstation, or VMware Player, or ESXi. Now be careful with this appliance. It requires a lot of memory. 8 gig of RAM is required to run this appliance. So you'll need to allocate enough RAM to your GNS3 VM to run this appliance. So be careful, a large amount of RAM is required to run this appliance. I'm gonna click next. I'm asked where I wanna run the appliance. In my example, it's gonna run on the GNS3 VM. So I'm gonna click next. The GNS3 GUI connects to the GNS3 VM I'm told that the GNS3 server requirements are okay, so I'm gonna click Next. GNS3 scans the downloads directory for the required files. Two files are required. This first file is missing in my example, but the QCOW2 file is found. So I'm gonna click the first file and click Download. That takes me to sourceforge.net and downloads the required file. Now be careful, the file is compressed as a zip file, so you'll need to uncompress it. So this file is the downloaded file. It's a zip file. So I need to decompress that file to make it available. Once I've done that, I can click Refresh, and notice now the file has been found by GNS3. Now you need to provide your own QCOW2 files. Neither GNS3 nor I can provide Cisco operating systems. So if you need to download the Nexus operating system, select the file and click Download. That redirects you to the Cisco website you can download the relevant QCOW2 file. So make sure that you download the correct file from the Cisco website and then download that to your local hard drive. So downloads home, products, switches, data center switches, Nexus 9000 series switches, Nexus 9000V, and select the relevant operating system. In this example, it's 703i6.1, and that's the file that's been found by GNS3. If it's not found, click on Import and browse to where you've got the downloaded file. I'm gonna click Next. So I'm asked, do I wanna install this appliance? Yes, I do. The QCOW2 file is uploaded to the GNS3 VM. It's about 750 meg. You just need to wait for that upload to complete. I'm gonna stick with the default QMU settings and click Next. 
A summary of the appliances shown, adapter type, adapters, amount of RAM, notice 8 gig of RAM is required, console type is Telnet, KVM is required, which again means that you need to be using a VMware product. Click next. So they tell us the old versions require 8 gig, adjust it if necessary. So with newer appliances, you may be able to run with a smaller amount of RAM. On this Nexus 9000V guide, last updated on the 28th of May 2017, the resource requirements are available, and we're told these are the minimum requirements. 8 gig of RAM, minimum is 4 gig, but 8 gig is recommended for a complex topology and enabling features. So you may be able to go down to 4 gig in your GNS3 topology. Click Finish. The appliance is now installed. So in GNS3 version 2.1, under Installed Appliances, I now have the Nexus 9000 V appliance. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to wish you all the very best.